all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to another top three stock video we're going to be talking about the overall market how the market is going to perform this coming week and what you can expect from it uh, based on the chart and the technical analysis that i'm going to provide for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you my levels for spy the qqq and three stocks i really like which are shopify amazon and costco and uh, what kind of long and short setups they have so with that let's go straight into it the first thing you need to look at is spy and spy here um so basically we had a pretty strong drop right spy went from all-time high of uh 565 all the way down to 510 pretty close to 500 now i was actually expecting it to get to 500 and it would have been a really easy to bounce it off of 500 but i guess 510 is now your big big support because that is where we bounced off of and that's fine makes sense uh we'll, we'll play off of that right so the next time you know spy breaks 510 obviously we're gonna go ahead and short it and bring it down however last week five days in a row we had a pretty decent bounce on the market and the market kind of retraced back all of the losses that we had from the week before the last week so for me it's more so well if the spy is trying to fill the gap of uh, how much we dropped over here then that's what i'm going to play for so if i draw it out and i look at how much we can go up well I take the high of the Friday, which would be around 535. Break of 535, we go ahead and go fill the gap all the way up to like 547 to 550. So that's basically what you're looking for for this week on the SPY. You want to get into that. However, the key is going to be if the volume is good. If the flow is good, then you can go ahead and play the long side of it. However, if we start rejecting this 535, 536 area and start breaking back down underneath, I would say roughly around this 528.50 if we start curling back around 528.50 then that 528.50 is going to send us back down towards that 510 area because this is going to be a big rejection also just a heads up the market is not on an uptrend right now the market is actually on a downtrend so if we do retrace back up, we will still be on a downtrend, but at the very least, we'll be looking for this gap fill, which is what I am expecting from the market this week. I want to see the market push above 535 and fill this gap all the way up to 545, 550. And that will be a test of downtrend line. And at that downtrend line, you'll have two possible plays. You'll either have a rejection, which will let us bring it back under, uh, back down under, off of that trend line and reject that trend line so we could go for shorts right there get some put options or if we break this downtrend line we could start reversing back up into the bullish flow of the market market turning bullish and we'll probably head back towards all-time high in which case if we do reverse up above the downtrend line our next level of uh, resistance is going to be 555 followed by uh roughly around 560 then there's going to be a little bit of gap fill to 562 and then of course all time high around 565 so that's basically what you're looking for from the spy and similarly you want to go to qqq and you want to see the same exact thing so with qqq it's a little bit cleaner of a chart if i draw the downtrend line uh the downtrend line is roughly like this and so we are pretty close to the downtrend line on the qqq however we still do have this gap to fill on it and this gap is pretty nice so if qqq you know this week breaks above 452 uh, 453 area you can start pushing it into 464 to 467 68 whatever we can get out of it on the flip side of it if the qqq does reject uh, and break underneath 445 or 445.50 whatever the case may be here um, break that support we can bring it back down to 420 and under towards 400 if the market decides to be very bearish the other thing again same thing with spy if we go up to the trend line and we reject the trend line we can bring it back down but if we break the trend line then we can start playing it towards the upside for a bullishness towards this next level which would be 475 after 475 you're going to have resistance around 480 to 485 area and then following that you're going to have gap fill to 493 and then all-time high near 500 okay so those are basically the 
areas we are looking for for this week and uh, you know it should be a pretty fun week for the overall market that being said there are three stocks that has the potential to move a lot especially if the market goes down and keeps going up the first one is shopify and the reason for shopify in the list is because they came up with earnings earnings was really good and they gapped up a lot now this gap up is pretty aggressive so i wouldn't be surprised if we see some selling pressure coming in this week on it because of how much we gapped up already but i will say we have positive flow here we have a red to green ema crossover the stock has gotten above the purple ema which is again all of these are bullish situations and last but not least of course they had earnings which was really good so earnings was really good and the main thing i am looking for is the breakout this week above 70 dollars. if we break 70 dollars, we have gap to fill all the way up to 75 and that's a five point move to the upside that is very easy to get however you could also look for a potential rejection this week at this $70 and bring it back down towards maybe 65 and under so that could be something to look for especially if we break underneath uh, the 6350 here it will go down and fill the gap towards 55 um, so that's a lot of room to the downside in case we dis we see market dropping and Shopify follows the market or Shopify in general just has a selling pressure so all of that is pretty nice and that's what we're looking for um, next one is Amazon Amazon being number two uh, the reason I like Amazon, again, last week I had earnings and the reaction to earnings was pretty bad. But again, it's Amazon and it's a really good uh, stock. So what you want to do is you just basically want to wait for this to break 168.50. If it breaks 168.50, simple, you go ahead and fill this earnings gap down. So we're going to go up and we're going to fill the gap to the upside. If we reject this 168.50 this week, which on Friday we actually did reject it, you're looking for it to come back under 162.50 to 160 uh, area. If it gets back under 162 or 160 area you should be able to get a nice short back down to 150 which i don't think will happen but you never know market could be super bearish uh the last thing you need to watch out for is you need to watch out for flow to turn positive which will give you a nice signal to go long on it and that is basically what you want to do for the stock is you want to watch for those levels to break and then you play some call options or put options depending on which way it picks so amazon really solid chart setup finally my favorite play of the week and this one is going to be costco now i'm hoping costco doesn't gap up uh tomorrow on monday or uh the rest you know on whatever tuesday any any of the days and let's us play this stock during the market hour so what i'm looking for is i'm looking for this stock to just break above this 858 this breaks 858 this is going to go straight for this fair value gap to 880 that's a solid 22 to 23 point move to the upside and the other thing i like a lot about this is we have ema crossover so you see the red ema it's just turned green and the stock up went above the blue ema and we have a buy signal with positive flow that came in on friday so all of this points to a very very bullish bullish chart the one thing i will mention is it is possible that we reject here and grind here for at least a couple of days the reason i say this is because that would make this an inverse head and shoulder bullish pattern we have the sec first shoulder we have the curl back up so that's our head we just need to build the second shoulder now if it does the second shoulder build then it's going to have a breakout like this after a couple of more days maybe on wednesday or thursday or friday i don't know maybe the following week after this week comes up but at the very least, as soon as it breaks 858, you know to go play along on it because it will go ahead and fill this gap. And that is what I'm looking for. So that basically wraps up the, uh, the top three stocks for the week. If you guys want to catch every single play I make, make sure to check out the link in the descriptions below. It will take you to my um, Discord, which you can go ahead and get all of the plays that I call out on Discord uh, in, you know, all of the alerts that I call out and everything, all of it goes into this main account alert room. You can also, you know, do see the morning notes. Every morning I post 
eight stocks that you can trade off of with specific calls levels and specific uh, short levels and then of course long-term account if you want to follow that and you know a lot of uh you know trade reviews course everything is included in the membership so you can always go ahead and get these and learn and you know find these educational content here in as well everything included in the membership um and yeah if you want to get in on the room check out the link in the descriptions below i'll see you guys on the next video have a wonderful wonderful weekend and an amazing rest of the week uh for some lots of profits all right have a wonderful peace